cry. Oh. Are you serious? Oh my god. You're like the sweetest thing in the world. Okay, cool. So, um, today's video is going to be a little bit interesting, a little bit different. I'm going to see if this works, and if it, and if you guys like it, then I'll do more of these. Okay, but um, so base, so basically, what's happening is, uh, in about 20 minutes or so, uh, there's going to be man, my hair is sticking up everywhere. So in about 20 minutes or so, I'm going to have a, a client call. Um, she's you know, ask me about business cards. That's all I really know about it. She's gonna start a floral business and I think she might actually want a logo redesign or something. But again, I don't really know what's going on. I'm gonna record the entire conversation between me and her and I'm probably just gonna show you the best parts about it. But the key thing is that she does not know she's being recorded. So there's a huge chance that this video might actually never even be published on, on the internet without her consent. So at the end, I'm gonna tell her I'm doing a video series basically on how to talk to clients during a graphic design meeting and kind of the techniques that I use and I wanted to document the whole thing and I wanna see if you'd be okay with me sharing this online on YouTube. And if she says yes, then this video is good to go. And then at the end of that, um, you know, for helping me out, I'm actually gonna just give her the entire project completely for free. So um, just to kind of give you a little background of what's gonna happen here in, in, in about 10, 15 minutes. So um, yeah, uh, hopefully that, you know, she likes um, the things that I say, she likes my pitch, she's ready to do some business. If this all goes through really well, I will also show you my entire design process of how I designed her business card. And yeah, so um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's okay. Hopefully everything turns out okay. So um, yeah. let's get started. Hello, this is Patrick. Hello, Patrick. This is Artemis. Hey, Artemis. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Wow. It's been uh, it's been a long time since the last time we ch uh, we chatted. Uh, I mean, so how's how's everything going? How's the uh, you know the situation and and being well, being quarantined? I mean, we're doing good. I mean, we're we're just like for me i started a whole new business and it's been really good for me um, because i finally decided and i just jumped in you know i just took a leap of faith and said hey i'm done i don't i'm just so tired of working for other people so i said you know what i know business i know how to do this business i love it it's my passion and and thankfully like I get orders. <laughs> awesome. So, uh, okay, so I got your email and and I, you know, can you tell me a little bit more about your business? Yeah. So basically I am a personal floral designer. What that means is um, generally a florist. So I get orders, you know, by referral. My ultimate goal is I'm, I wanna start serving to you know, wealthy people of Beverly Hills, Orange County. Like okay. I do have some celebrity people that I'm in communication with and, and and some people that they just love personal floors. People feel like really special to have that niche, you know, to sure. be a part of that niche. And I'm also going to be joining this company called Bloom Nation, which is one of the um, top companies right now for, you know, going through online to place orders. Okay. And so that's really important because now that I'm going, I'm going on the site, my icons and everything, like I worked with this girl um, and I paid her, you know, every, what she wanted. And the icons, obviously for like my Instagram and for like just using it for stickers on envelopes and stuff like that. It's just, I'm not very happy with this. Okay. Okay, so basically I need a logo. Sure. Uh, because the okay. one that you see there, the Artemis 
floral designs, but it's not like very solid and strong and I can't use it for my Instagram. I can't use it for a lot of things. You know, it's not just, it's just not feasible. You know, is there any questions specifically that you have for me? Like, um, I just need a brand new business card, a new logo, you know, I just want, because I really like, I like my first name really to be something that, you know, people remember and stuff like that. But the logo, you know, starting from there, I guess. And Okay, cool. So logo can be done. So let me tell you a little bit about how, how I work, okay? And it's very it's very good that you start with the logo first. The logo is basically going to be the center of the rest of your designs, right? So this is something I like to ask all the people that I work with, okay? Now, um, in everybody's mind, there is this perfect logo, right? But there's not a way that they can um, maybe... Uh, articulate it or maybe even draw it out but one of the things that really helps me understand what you have in your mind is if you can go on google and just kind of find some images that you like or that you think is kind of what you're looking for and giving you like three or more all right not emphasis or more it doesn't even have to be flower logos it could be like a monet painting or it could be something really simple like for example if you like any of these images that you see in your google search right now just copy it put it into the email oh i like this i like what's going on here i like the boxes in this one or whatever you know um oh i like the way this flower is being represented here i like the color scheme whatever it is right just so i can get a very very good idea of what you like and this way i can hold you accountable for the design that i ultimately create for you right because you're telling me exactly what you want and i can i can create it exactly the way you like does that make sense yeah no it totally does and if you can do the complete opposite for me in which you send me like three or more emphasis on more again um things that you absolutely do not want to see on your card and then i will absolutely keep away from those styles and elements and maybe even colors so that's and that's going to definitely help you know really really pinpoint what you want okay Mm -hmm. okay it doesn't have to be too much work on you you just basically go on google and copy and paste the pictures you want into an email and then that will work. Okay. Yeah, I have I have some um I'm already looking at some stuff that looks really appealing to me and then we can go from there. And then I'll, I'll I also will write the ones I don't like. I'll say absolutely nothing like this. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. Exactly. So you see my picture the 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 front of the card? Okay, I absolutely adore that color scheme. The pink and the peach and the that type of thing. I like that it has like a touch of green, a touch of. Right. Um, I'll send you. I'll send it to you the full image of what it was before um, we cut it down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, um, but I I want you to know that I love the whole watercolor watercolor in the background that's a huge thing that i love okay you know uh it has to be very upscale Mm -hmm. and it has to be very elegant sure it has to look rich okay you you know what i mean like when you look at it you, you look at it and you're just like you know this person has a beautiful eye and like it represents a part of me as a florist. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I do need, like, I need people, I need to have, gold is important to me because my middle name is gold. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah. The golden <laughs> child, huh? Yeah, you know? Right. And, and I think that it's, it's something that also brings a lot of good luck. Of um, course. Of course. And so, and I like, I like the white gold theme. However, I know that, um, you know, it's, it's really hard to see, you know, the gold on white, but I know that you're the expert on like how to make things work and if you need to change that, that's fine too. Sure. Sounds good. Um, Yeah. So, okay. I'll send you some stuff and then some stuff that I don't like. Um, and I hope that kind of clears things up. Right. 
Okay, cool. Now, just a few things before we kind of get wrapped up here. Um, I actually work really quickly, right? So uh, when I do projects for people, I try to get things done within a week or so. And I know that you're super busy and I'm super busy as well. So I want to make sure that I'm not constantly calling you every single day to like check to see if this is right, this is right, this is right, you know? Uh, I want to get all the information right up front so I can get building on this. And then by the time that next time we have a phone call, you're going to have something to look at and you're going to critique. And then that's what we're going to call a revision period. Okay. Um, I'm thinking for this, we probably need one, maybe two max revision periods and then one last finalization period. Okay, so the finalization period is just basically cleaning up some stuff. Very, very minor work. The revision periods are going to be like the heavy lifting where it's like, ooh, I like what's going on here, but I don't really, I want this to be changed. I want this to be changed. I want this to be changed. Okay. And during these revision periods, I'm going to give you a, a like a set amount of time, whatever time you think is going to be comfortable, one day, two day, whatever the amount is. But I want you to give me all of the revisions that you need in like basically one, one email. Okay. And it could be a long email. It doesn't matter, but just write it all out. Or it could be a phone call, whatever it is. Right. Oh. So uh, this is just to kind of prevent the fact that like you send one revision and you're like, oh no, I want this. And I want this. And you do this like in a succession of like hours or days. That's not good. I don't want that because that really kind of uh, throws off the workflow. So everything all at one time. Okay. And then I'm going to get everything you want done all at one time. And then we go into maybe a second revision or we can go directly into the finalization period, which uh, for my last couple of clients, they really liked the stuff that I did after the first revision. So they didn't, we didn't need a second revision period. We just basically cleaned everything up from there and they had their logo literally within like four days and they sent all their information off to, you know, get printed. So yeah, take some time, uh, gather all your resources, send everything to me at one time. Um, and then I'm gonna assess that information. We may or may not have another phone call then, depending on whether I understand everything or not, if I have any questions. Um, if not, then I'm just gonna send you some stuff right away during your, your next email, um, probably within the next two to three days, okay? Um, I'm gonna actually try and start to do that email right now for you. Okay. Um, and um, yeah, I'm gonna get started on it just to make sure that I'm putting everything on there that you asked for. And then, then if you had any questions, please feel free to call me anytime and we can, we can talk about that or text me, whatever works for you or mm -hmm. email. And I appreciate that you want to get the products, you know, done soon. I really do. I, I like that. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, you know. Um, okay, cool. So uh, I think we got a good, good first round of details. Now we got to talk a little bit about cost and budgeting for this. Yeah. So um, what is exactly your budget for this project? If you don't mind me asking. Um, I mean, honestly, like, I know you're really professional at this. And so I want to see, like, you know, what your base prices are is because I know you deserve, you know, for your time and effort and everything. I I don't necessarily, I mean, budget-wise, yeah, I'd like it to be a fairly priced, you know what I mean? I'd like... Um, I don't know what your prices are. Okay, so again, just kind of gauging your budget here, like if I were to say like $5,000, is that within your budget? No. Okay, so okay, so there, so obviously it's not 5000 If I say like $1,000, is that gonna be within your budget? Um, no, I was thinking more of like maybe like 150, 300, I don't know. 150 to 300, okay, cool. Yeah. So it gives me a good idea of what it is um, just to kind of give you an idea roughly of what I usually charge for this type of stuff right so I usually start at a base of $500 for just about anything I do I want to make sure by the end of the day I make about 500 bucks on whatever project it is right so for logo it's gonna be about anywhere from 500 and up depending on the the type so there's a lot of factors that go into it, right how many different types of mock-ups you want how many revisions you want, you know, is this going to be a logo where there's going to be illustration involved? Is this going to be like, uh, like kind of like a cartoon type of thing? Or is it going to be just like text type, you know, and, you know, there's, there's a lot of factors that go into it. For logos, generally, it starts off at 500. And then for business cards, designs, and usually it usually comes in a corporate package. And the corporate package would be like your business cards, your letterhead, um, you know, like one flyer, and then uh, like one other thing that you want designed, right? It could be like a postcard or something thing or like a small type of advertisement and that's going to be another 500 so usually that out the door is going to be you know starting off at a thousand okay 
Yeah, mine, mine I want to keep it very um, simple and stuff like that, so I, I don't think it's going to be a lot of, like, anim- like, animation or, like, you know, anything like that. Um, the logo is probably the most important thing to me because I already like the front side of my business card, but at the same time, like, I want it to match, you know, what we're doing with the logo and all that stuff, too. Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Like, uh, you want something simple, right? But that's that's the key thing here, right? Like, doing something simple doesn't make it any any yeah any any easier, right? So with with design, people pay more money for things that look even more simpler. And how well you do that is sort of sort of what dictates the cost here. So um, if the thing is, if I, I, I okay, so I know you're working on a budget, and this is going to be slightly under what I'm usually looking for. But I'll tell you what, um, the logo is the most important. Let's just do the logo. And then if you do the logo, I will also throw in the business cards for you for free. Is that cool? That sound good? Yeah, that would be amazing. Thank you. Okay, cool. And then that will, uh, and we'll just do it at the price of 500. Does that sound fair? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's great. Okay, cool. So yeah, let's do 500 and then uh, plus business cards. I really appreciate you doing this. Okay. Um, I really love your work, so I will get started. And um, and for um, for paying you, do you, do you need it all at one time, or is this something where I can pay you like um, like you know one hundred or two hundred, you know, one day and then two hundred another day? Like, how does that work? So generally, it's up to you to either pay me fifty percent up now or one hundred percent up now. So I can either do, uh, and I won't start the project until I receive the first payment. So as soon as I get the first payment, then I'm gonna start working on it. Um, and also, j- here's another disclaimer that I didn't mention, right? So the thing is with the revision process, right? If I give you a first set of revisions and you're like, okay, let's change it up. And I give you another set and you don't like it, right? And at that point, we if you still don't like it after the second revision, then each revision after that is gonna, is gonna take on an additional cost. And at that point, you can choose to either opt out of the project, right? Because at that point, it's not because like I can't get the job done. It's because our styles are stylistically different and the style that I make doesn't fit with your project. So in, in that situation, it's never really happened to me. I've always been pretty good at you know pinpointing what people want, especially if you give me a very thorough collection yeah. of images, right? But I'm just letting you know that at, at a certain point, there's a chance that like my style doesn't mix with your project very well. And so we just kind of have to back out. And unfortunately at that point, there's all the work has been done and there's not going to be any refunds, right? Okay. Okay, cool. So after I got that out of the way, that that's just basically the only last thing. And uh, there's going to be some paperwork involved, basically like, you know, general graphic design contracts. Um, yeah, I'll wait for uh, two things from you the email with all the information and then the first 250 and then I'm going to get started. Um, can I Venmo you? Sure. Yeah, Venmo works. All right. All right. Well, a good email. <laughs> okay. Yes. The better the email, the better the logo. All right, let's put it that way. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> cool. All right. I'll start that. Thank you so much, Pat. I really, I really appreciate it. I'm like super excited. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm excited to work on this too, and I'm really glad. Like, what? What? I mean, I'm just curious. What? What made you decide to call me for this? Um, honestly, I think because I've always I've known you to be someone that has a very good eye, okay. on things, very professional and, and very you know experienced in this stuff. And no, I like your vision. I know that you know. You're professional, so at the end of the day, I know that like this is something you know within your scope. Right. You know. Right. Right. Okay. Cool. So, uh, looking forward to working with you, and uh, yeah, let's uh, you know just call me if you have any questions. Send me text. Okay. Cool. All right. Thank you so much. I'll send you the money right now, and then work on the email. Cool. Okay. Thanks so much. Take right. care. Bye. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye. Hey, Artemis. How are you? Good. How are you? I hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. No, I'm just doing business. Um, I did all my morning deliveries and arrangements. And, oh, wow. And then, uh, so I just wanted to call you real quick, basically get a little feedback on how you felt about the whole entire project. And yeah, and after this, I actually was going to ask you to see if you'd be willing to help out with something. Yeah, sure. 
So yeah, for sure. Um, I just recently sent over a list, uh, actually a bunch of files that you're going to be using for whatever you're going to need to for. So I sent you your logos and your business cards in uh, PNG and JPEG format. Okay. Your logo is going to be a PNG and you're going to be able to put them on just about anything. So uh, envelopes or, you know, like a website because they have a transparent background. So it's going to be, be good for that. Oh, perfect. That's awesome. Okay. And then I gave you a PDF. The PDFs are um, of the business cards and those are like high quality print ready and they're good for, you know, they already have the bleed on them. So in case the printers ask, they already come with the bleed. So give it to them basically as is. Okay. All right. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh this is the thing that I wanted to basically ask you to see if you want to help me out with. So sure. I don't know if you know, but I'm actually trying to create a bunch of videos, make them, put them online, right? And so okay. my first video is basically kind of like an educational video on uh, regards on like how to design business cards. But my second video, here's the premise. The premise is I basically want to guide my audience through an entire sales process or an entire workflow process for graphic design for any kind of project. So as, as you know, me and you, we did a whole logo project and a business card project all in one. Yeah. Okay. And so my question is, I'd be curious to know if you'd be interested in helping me make this video in which I basically document the entire process of how we worked and from beginning to end and then the end result. Okay, cool. So now here's the issue, right? How are we going to recreate our last entire week's worth of works and conversations? We have to redo it and simplify it. <laughs> I got to redo it and simplify it. Because that, the problem with that is that it's going to be too scripted and you already kind of know exactly what's going to happen. This is what I've actually done. And I've actually went ahead and thought one step ahead. Here's what happened. So since the time that we started doing business till right now and even right now, everything in the workflow has actually been recorded. So there's documentation of me and all of the conversations that we've had in terms of, uh, you know, the sales process and every and, you know, the revisions and everything. So that way, everything is purely genuine. It is completely unscripted. You had no idea that this was being recorded and we don't have to do the work twice. I want to ask you if it's okay to even use this content because if it's not okay, then this video will never be made and that's totally understandable. You didn't know this was happening. But, um, you know, if you want to help me out with this, I'm actually going to, you know, uh, hook you up a little bit. So yeah, I'm just... Yeah. Great, Pat. I totally want to support you as much as you supported me. So, dude, that's I'm really fine with it. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Okay, cool. Yeah. So that's good. I'm gonna cr I'm gonna create this video. I'm gonna splice it together. Okay. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the finalized product. And you know, of course, I gotta get your consent before sending any of this out. And if it looks good, then you. you know, it's gonna be a little bit of extra marketing on your end. Is that cool? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fantastic. And when I said I'm going to hook you up, um, basically from the beginning of this project to right now, um, the cost for this project all has always been 500. But because you're helping me out, I was actually willing to do this project entirely for free. So um, I was actually just not going to charge you at all for it. But you've already given me like the extra 200 last night. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to refund you all the money. And then um, that's that, I guess. Pat, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Are you? Yes. Oh my God! You're like the sweetest thing in the world. Okay. Pat. Oh my God. I, I mean, can I at least pay you something? Well, I mean, okay. I'm I'm okay with not getting anything, but I'm also not gonna stop you from giving me money. So, um, oh. as you know, like this is like good work, and you know, like, and I kind of want to put you put my customers in a frame that like this is how much something costs if it's really good quality everything's done on time to your satisfaction um never late right so this is this is you know what you get when you you know for this price so um whatever you know if you want to that's fine um i'm, I'm not requiring that in any means if you're happy with the service that's all that really matters Oh my god, I'm so happy with the service. Like, you saw my email, and I don't see anything very, like, when I compliment, I genuinely, like, me say stuff like that, that means, like, I'm so impressed, you know, because 
because I'm so particular, but I was even telling, like, how professional, you know, working with you was and how, how, like, you just knew. And I was like, we were on the same page, you know. So um, whatever I can do to help your video, I'm so down. Like, I can even write more emails to you as well. <laughs> no, no, that's yeah. all right. Anything at this point, after you know what's going on, it, it doesn't really, like can't you know oh, exactly. but it's like that you know it, it was cool that you didn't know that any of this was happening well good thing i wrote that nice email <laughs> <laughs> right well that's it's it was just, it was a genuine email that's all that matters yeah. Um, oh, so bad. yeah thank you for helping me out with this project and then um you know good luck with everything if you need anything just you know feel free to let me know hit me up yeah for sure and like i'll like definitely promote your business and it doesn't end here you know what i mean like if i have any more work and stuff that i need you to do i would love for you to be a part of it you know mm -hmm. sure and then i'll totally recommend you to other people as well but like i really appreciate so much for what you do oh tyler says he wants to hire you for something too so. <laughs> okay all right well, <laughs> well, we'll we'll talk then yeah i mean Tyler's helped me yeah. out a lot too in the past too, so I don't, I don't mind. Okay. I, I want to help you as much as I can because what you did is just absolutely amazing work. Sure, sure, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pat. I really appreciate it. And call me if you need anything else, okay? Okay, cool. No problem. Thanks, Artemis. Yeah, I think that went well.